I used to go to the sauna a lot. I was always thinking it would be great to have one of these in my own home, but didn't have five grand or a spare room to put one in. Mm. And came across this idea of portable saunas, saw a company that was doing it in America already, doing it quite well. They had a pretty strong brand. How much are they selling for those portable ones? They were 500 US. Really? Yeah. Well, it's just like a stand-up wooden thing. No, for the portable sauna blanket. Oh, the blankets. So yeah. I thought you meant an actual like sauna. Gotcha. So yeah. you saw portable sauna blankets yeah. in the US. And they were doing well, had a strong brand, but we knew the market was going to explode. We were, mm. I was very tuned into wellness. Do you think you were tuned in as a consumer of your own product? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love wellness. Yeah. I, so I had a pulse on what was going to explode. I knew ice bars were going to take off back in 2020 i think we probably missed and, out on a few and we were dollars. that close to doing it yeah. but didn't from a logistics perspective that, so, is, that is the hard part of that industry. anyway we, we were like okay this fits all the criteria i think it's going to explode in popularity let's roll with it and we did and we we the, like you were talking about before we launched a proper brand we didn't launch yeah. a that's the one half fast you know front Front of a sale shop. One thing I admired about this startup. Yeah. Yeah. There was like, effort put in on the front end. There was effort. Like the website looked great and that took us a long time. Yeah. We were crap at making websites back then. We got a load of influencers on board before we even launched. It's a full-time job that. Content. Yeah. Like yeah. we did the whole thing. Yeah. And because we launched a proper brand. So when we launched, it looked like we had a proper brand. Yeah. We got picked up by the Daily Mail really quickly. We can go into that. Good PR bit. agent for that one? No, that was organic. Can I ask, yeah. um, did it convert? Yeah, this was the whole thing that right. set us up for a million bucks. So I just tell that, that story of how we... Yeah, because yeah. it's interesting. Like I've seen stuff in the Daily Mail that doesn't convert mm. at all. So to hear that this took off is incredible because yeah. I was um, not as bullish on them at yeah. the first. So... We wanted to create a bit of an organic buzz to start with, with the brand. So we launched, we seeded with a couple of influencers um, for like a test run. We did that, went really well. A lot of people started talking to us. We had some big, big influencers in Australia, like actually message us yep. because it was a new novel product in Australia. It's, it's rewarding you know? when that happens. So. We, because we did nail the product. Yep. And so that happened. And then just by chance, someone from the Daily Mail messaged us. That's saying, hectic. hey, I'm from the Daily Mail. I love this product. Can we do a feature on you? Um, so I'm like, hell yeah, you can do a feature on us. <laughs> no, fuck off. <laughs> um, but they, I knew they were in the UK and Australia. So I'm like, can you please just like not do it for a month whilst we get set up in the UK as right. well? Right. I didn't know this. Yeah, because if, they're, if that publication goes out in the UK and we do not have a shop in the UK, we've just missed out on a lot. So set up in the uk and the article How went did that take? um not that long like just a plug and play sort of thing yeah 3pl all oh. um, right see did you have to ship a bunch of this stock over there yeah yeah from... order a container to our 3pl in, in the uk so did it have to come from somewhere else to here and then here to there no china to the uk right so yeah. straight to a fulfillment center yeah. yeah how did it feel did you kind of know it was going to sell out like was there any fear of like what if i've got a uk center full of stock well no so what we did was we were on pre-order when the, the daily mail article came out right so we played it smartly because wow. you've got to weigh up the pros and cons of everything right was anyone doing this at this point in australia or the uk the sauna blankets yeah no no right so this article went went out and this is about 10 days into our e-commerce journey yeah. full time. Like we did the soft launch a month before. I remember I was at my mum's house. <laughs> and I, it was back in the day when you still have Shopify notifications turned on. I think oh. it, it's a momentous occasion when you finally switch them off. Bro. But, but when you just start. You have, How good is it yeah. when you have to turn when it off? When you have to turn them off. It's, it's like yeah, I've made it's, it. But back then it. I still had them on. Oh, right. and, <laughs> and I was in the car getting ding, ding, ding. Oh. And I called my business partner. I'm like, dude, like I think this article is working. Like something weird is happening. <laughs> and it kept on going ding, ding, ding. And I went like crazy. And I turned my, like my phone on off silent, like kept it off silent because yeah. I just love, it's like music to my ears. Yeah, yeah. And I got to my mum's house and mum's like, what's going on? And I'm like, mum, I'm making money. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, good does it feel? Yeah. It's like winning the pokies. Yeah. Mm. And then... um. Australia kind of calmed down 
and got After to the, that original sugar hit. Yeah. Right. Then I got to the evening and the UK woke up. Oh man, that's so good. 